it has been a while since we last saw the cross gameplay and today I'll present you Night Rose vs the cross and spoiler alert as you can see from this video timestamp or rather the whole length of the video the game is quite short so let's see why so the Kagero does go first in this game riding into lava flow and dropping the end there Night Rose will go second here and riding into the Necro Bone here. Will we be able to see a scary turn navigator here? We do see it. It's pretty consistent in my opinion. It's like almost a Neyman. And we do see it mewling two Necro Bones and one Cutlass there. Wow, very very talented player there. Seeing the Necro Bone there. There's no guard here, dry check into another navigator. Very, very consistent there. Oh! <laughs> A very weird play there, <laughs> riding straight to the cross there. But he does bring the Berserk Dragon, most likely gonna retire the navigator to draw one. Very, very weird tech, I would say, because usually the cross don't really run the uh, Berserk Dragon anymore. We do see him running Init Road Dragons and. The in uh the Buster Cannon, Tori Cannon, sorry, as well as another great two tag, which is usually the promo. Or rather the Doha. Oh, sorry, not Doha, the basically the Gimusashi Musashi one. And we do see the Night Rose player actually guarding very early and maintaining at zero damage here. And we do see having the second navigator here, milling another top five. And we do see the Columbard as well as the Night Rose as well as the Night Mist, which is actually part of the combo piece for the final turn. And we do see him committing the Grid Shade here, dropping one card from here, dropping the PG there, milling top, top two, and we'll be picking up a 30k shield back to hand. So dropping the PG there, I will say yes. Will become his bane later, but we shall see how the game unfolds. And the drop zone count is really looking at a 14 drop zone count, if I'm not wrong. Yes, a 14 drop zone already. And he does swing with the grid shade first, which is. giving up to 3 damage here. Rise to the cross here. Going to force 2. And using the skill to search for the end here, inheriting the the end skill, which will allow him to actually potentially attack 3 times here if he does pay the full cost. We will be able to see a 0 to 6 here. And he does use the inner root dragon here to search the top 7. Will he be able to find the cross? He does. And look at that. It's actually all SP. Damn, this guy is a baller. And we do see the Ipuki marker 2 there as well. So you we do know this guy is not. It's, it's not giving any chance. And we do see a second inner root dragon there. And a SP at that. Wow. And the Inio Dragon here will be hitting very very hard. And given that Night Rose is already at 3 hand size only, we will be able to see a very very close game. And we do see him committing Saber New here as a booster. Sadly not a hit shot dragon. And he does swing with the cross for 21k. Most likely a no guard will be happening here in driving a critical trigger and a huge trigger pumping two trigger to the middle giving three damage right from the start and we do see two damage trigger there which might be able to help but given that narrows only has three hand size i don't think there's much left to guard so we see the cross actually throwing the three hand size there to plus 10k withstanding the cross and the cross will be swinging for 43k against the 29k Vanguard. He does no go once again. 
And we do see yet another critical trigger giving 4 total damage. And he does open a heal here, but he does need to open a 6 damage heal here still. And this is it, and it's game over. Thank you for watching till the end, and if you do enjoy the content, do consider subscribing.